what's your favorite part of your work? When I, there's, there's like this rare moment I get to, very rare, where the music is right, the vibe is right, talent is loving it, like everything just clicks and is working. And I, I've had a few of those shoots over the last year. Hey, Jeremy. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. What are you doing here in my studio? Just in town for Imaging USA, so we'd figure you'd stop by and ask you 21 questions. All right, I'm editing. I hope that's okay, but sure, I'm game. No problem. All right, first question. What kind of photography do you shoot? Um, weird, experimental uh, portraiture. Musicians, entertainers, uh, models, fashion, whatever. What's your go-to camera and lens? Um, right there. Canon 5DS with a 24 to 70 2.8. What was your first job? Uh, first photography job was shooting my friend Steven Delopoulos in New York City a long time ago with a three megapixel camera. <laughs> what got you into photography? I think it was just um, when, when cameras first went digital, I was already a graphic designer, so the digital workflow, Photoshop, Adobe Bridge, all that stuff already made sense to me. So when cameras went digital, it was like just another extension of my workflow. So it was very easy to switch, to start shooting, really. Your photography isn't a classic style of portraiture. What do you call your style? I don't know what I call it. I would, <laughs> I would call it curious, because I'm always curious, I'm always wanting to try the next weird thing. I want to push myself. I get bored really easily. Bored of my own work, bored of lighting the same way. I really got to keep trying new things. So I would say experimental. What's your favorite part of your work? Um, when I, there's, there's like this rare moment I get to, very rare, where the music is right, the vibe is right, talent is loving it. Like, Everything just clicks and is working, and I, I've had a few of those shoots over the last year. Do you do other creative things aside from portrait photography? Uh, yes, I do a lot of fine art and paintings, so these paintings you see around my studio are all mine, so I'm always exploring and trying new things. Do you have upcoming projects? Uh, I have a, a small thing I'm working on. Uh, it's a global hotel chain that I'm trying to build from scratch. It's called the Purpose Hotel, and basically everything inside every building will connect people to causes and nonprofits. So by staying in these hotels, you'll be quote unquote changing the world in your sleep. So we've been uh, working on it for four years now seven years since I had the idea, but it's coming to life and it's going to be really exciting. Charity seems to be a big part of your life. What other charitable projects have you worked on? Um, I've done quite a few um, humanitarian projects around the world over the years. Um, I love to respond during natural disasters when something bad happens. I think we need creative ideas to help solve the problem. Um, and I think a camera can do that in a lot of ways as a storyteller. So I'm always trying to figure out how to respond in times of need. So let's switch gears a little bit. What are a couple tips you can give to somebody inspired by you? I would say um, to just keep pushing yourself, you know. Um, thinking outside the box is really cliche, but um, I get bored easily, so I have to keep trying new things and experimenting. I put, you know, crap in front of my lens. I, use projectors, I use all kinds of weird gear as a part of my process to just try new things and see what can happen. So I think people, if they like my work, they need to also experiment and try new things in their own work. So what do you do for fun aside from photography? What do you do for fun? I'm going to stand up because I'm tired of sitting. Um, Hey, cool. This thing is called an up desk and I use it all day to stand and sit and ride a bike or jog. It's, it's a pretty great uh, desk. Um, so what do I do for fun outside of photography? I uh, paint and draw and I play with my kids. Anything outdoors, I love to go see movies um, because the older I get, the harder that is to do to take time to go see a movie. 
Um, yeah, anything outdoors uh, with my family is always good. Here's a hard question. Okay. What's your ideal breakfast? That is not a hard question, that is easy. My ideal breakfast is an acai bowl or a smoothie. I'm a health nut these days, so those are my two go-tos, or health, or smoothies and acai bowls. Dogs or cats? I have both, but dogs. Who is your favorite photographer? That's a good question. My favorite painter is Jean-Michel Basquiat. My favorite photographer, there's so many. Frank Gockenfels is one, Annie Leibowitz is one. Uh, I'll go with those two. Best documentary you watched recently? I don't know that I've watched any documentaries recently. I want to watch some food documentaries, but I've been watching The Morning Show on Apple TV and it's really good. You've traveled a lot. Where and what's your favorite project abroad? I did a shoot with Imogen Heap in Iceland and the results from that shoot were insane. That was my favorite. What was the most fulfilling or impactful project? Um, probably the, the global movement I started called Help Portrait, where photographers serve those in need. I started that about 10 years ago and it really did become a movement. Photographers have done it in over 70 countries worldwide. And so it's been really fulfilling to see the results from that for sure. Why Nashville for your home base? Because um, I was born here. <laughs> uh, and um, I love it here. You know, the creative community, very artsy town. I've got my extended family, friends. I mean, pretty much every reason to love somewhere. You know, I love the weather here um, for the most part. Uh, it's a great town. If you weren't a photographer, what would you be? Probably be a painter first or a musician, then after those two would be snowboarding or a drummer. What is one thing that makes your job easier? Um, there's a lot, there's all this gear, you know, Capture One Pro is amazing. Um, my Canon 5DS is amazing, but I have an app that I love called LifeX. And in this app, I can, when I'm ready to shoot, I close those curtains, I turn my projectors on, and then I hit this button. And then over the next 10 seconds, all of these light bulbs are getting darker. And so the whole studio morphs, and I close the curtains, and it's really dark and vibey. And then I start my photo shoot, and it's really cool. So this, this LifeX app, and the LifeX uh, light bulbs have really made life a lot easier. So now, I push it again, and the whole studio goes brighter. It's pretty great. If there were to be a movie about your life, who would play you? Oh gosh, a movie that no one would want to see. Uh, I was a big fan of Joaquin Phoenix and the Joker, so I'll go with him. Who should we interview next? Joey L. Joey's been doing some fascinating work uh, overseas for the last, gosh, two years. So if you can track Joey down, definitely interview Joey. All right, I'm gonna go get a head start on that. Thanks for answering our questions. Yeah, get out of here. I got some work to do. <laughs> see y'all later. See ya.